Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> the Off 7 Color Code of Katniss, level 1 purple. Put that color down. Put that color everywhere. Ah, oh, this camera weaving in the air. Get the right idea here. This piece on cardboard, this cardboard, what I'm going to do is 48 inches, so it's 4 feet. That's the one behind it. And this one's going to be with purple. My favorite color. And the brushes that I'm going to use, I haven't used today are these two filberts. It's been this little one. But since paints are getting bigger, the brushes need to get bigger. So this one's going to get, this is the one I'm going to use, this one here. Bigger one. And my palette, I don't usually use, but it's a little bit easier than holding it in my hand, even though that's my habit, is to hold it like this. Gives me an extra hand, too. See? Like that. But it's easier if I just put some on here. Purple. And I can just, <clears throat> I know that's not going to dry. I'm going to use it all. But I use my minimalist technique. Less is more. It's the whole idea. I don't like to waste. So, all right, here we go. Where's my image that I'm copying? There we are. And we start. <laughs> we begin. Do this again. dry brush. See? And I'm picking up more paint. And I'm just blocking this in. Again, this is no detail whatsoever. It just uh, gives me an idea of where everything is, all the shapes are. I'm looking for a contrast. This dark needs to be right up against that strip of white that's on the side of the horse's face. Photorealism is all about contrast, light and dark. Where is the light coming from? Where does the shadow fall? Since this is the fourth time I've painted this, my eye, my mind, kind of knows it a little bit better. So I can be quicker at it this time than it was before, which is the whole idea. Teaching my mind what works here, so that when I get to the big piece, Victor Honrath's piece, the commission piece, it's just pretty much by rote. So I've already used all that paint. I'll go back for some more here in a minute. Filling this in should be on the round because the body is coming up around this way. Body's like this big body. And it's on the move but on the round. I'm going to need some more paint here in a minute. Painting the dry brush. <coughs> It allows you to blend with acrylic where nothing else really does. I don't know if this is the best camera in there. Okay. How's that? It's these lights. Lights, lights, lights. Maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, where am I? Here. 
this paint would help. Now this is around the body this way. This way, this is the whole body here. That's the shape of it round. So when I fill in these dark spaces, I don't fill them in flat. I fill them in on the round, the shape of the thing that I'm trying to paint. <coughs> this haunch, it's round, even though there's a lot of foreshortening there. Same with this. I love painting on cardboard because it's so lightweight. I'm mobile a lot in my Jeep and I can pick this up really easily, move it around and carry it into clients' offices and I have a fairly large piece to show that's not really difficult to move, which is nice. And the hooves are round, of course, yes. Everything is round. That's why we painted in the round. And where's the light coming from? Where does the shadow fall? And remember, I'm just blocking this in. This no detail. No detail. Okay, wow, I've used that paint already. This cardboard is really sucking it in. So, more this, same color. Interesting watching it on there versus here. Okay. Keep going, keep going. When I don't know what to do next, I just keep going, <laughs> paint the next thing. This is the leg, this is round also, comes into the body like that. straight. All of this is round as well. It should get you closer to photorealism if you remember what shape the thing is that you're painting. And I actually want to show this crack in the cardboard want to show that this is cardboard and how amazing cardboard is to paint on. How much fun it is. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, the tail. The tail is actually off the canvas on this particular piece. See, the rest of the tail is over here. I just tried a different composition with this juxtaposition. I just cut that tail off. It's completely different than the, on this piece that's vertical than the others that are definitely horizontal. And that's why I'm doing this to get a feel for what works best. pretty much it for now with that color. You see though how painting to dry brush is very advantageous when you just keep using it until all the paint is gone. Okay. All right, I take a break and uh, go to white paint after. Okay, I'm going to go forward with the white and the outlines. This is just purple right now, which is the first level of six, off seven, white or black. And the off seven color code of Katniss, this, this whole theory, this code levels that I do, it's just one, just the purple one right now, but I'm 
getting tired. So I'm going to put the white in and then take a break. I'm not sure if I'll do more today. I'd like to, but um, it takes a lot of energy. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, here we go. Just make such a, a good stopping point to get these white edges in here. Then I can study it as I rest. Seem to start right there on that spot. That's where I started before. And I like to reiterate that I'm just blocking this in not actually painting it. I'm just putting in the colors where it belongs and putting things where they go. And then I'll come back and do detail later. Leave what works. Try to keep as much loose strokes as I can. Boy, it sure makes a difference, doesn't it? Okay, let's found that if I try to do too much in a day, I get too tired, and then the painting starts showing that. <clears throat> it starts picking up, I don't know, looser strokes that could be better. Sometimes makes my job harder for when I come back to it. So I try to do too much, but we'll see. As long as I'm in the mood, I want to get as much of this down as possible. So after I get this white in here, take a break, we'll come back with the next color, the awesome color code of Katniss. It's blue. I'll paint the whole thing in blue. And you'll see how it changes. It's pretty, pretty amazing what happens there. All right, I'm going to get this neck because everything to me is about this neck and that pose. Just about it, just about ready to call it. He's much bigger than the other ones, that's for sure. That's why I'm practicing so I get these strokes down on a larger scale quicker. All right, that's all I want to do because I'm tired. I'm going to stop. It's a lot today. All right, here we go. Yay! Level one. 